this is a chart of the worn OEM. Um, so you can see on this graph, we're starting out at 50 miles an hour, and then this shows the amount of time. So as you can see, there's a couple little increases in speed here on these Ford OEMs. Yep, so it, when we're starting off at 50 miles an hour, we see that over a spread of time, as you're braking, the vehicle speed is gonna come down. But we see some of those bumps in speed where it seems like the vehicle is picking up speed for a brief second. And that seems to be the ABS on the vehicle activating. Um, basically, that means that the brakes are letting go and grabbing again real quick so that we keep traction at the tires. And with the worn OEMs, we're seeing the ABS having to activate quite a few times throughout the braking action. Every time the ABS is activated, it's actually releasing the brakes. So every moment uh, that ABS is asked to engage or work, it's delaying stopping. It's adding time and it's adding distance throughout the stopping process. The overall conclusion is that the premium competitor and the KYB were significantly less um, activations of the ABS. Correct, much smoother. Brain. Much, much smoother. Especially with Warren OE, you had a lot of ABS activity and then by the time you got to our product or the premium competitor you had much much less ABS activity meaning that traction was being maintained much much better throughout the whole process. And I mean it's showcasing what we like to talk about a lot. Fresh valving makes a big difference over worn OEM parts. So again, one of the, the main things we want to do is to educate people as to why they need to change their shocks and struts after so many miles. And I think the fact that ABS is going to engage a lot more often under heavy braking with worn equipment is a very key component of that, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, a mileage is going to vary on, on every vehicle depending on, uh, on how it's worn. So really the, the best thing to do is let a qualified technician take it for a road test exercise, you know, how, how much are these systems engaging, how much body roll is there, how much yaw is there. Um, those are all really, really good clues that the shocks and struts are worn to the point where they can't keep the vehicle operating as designed.